Today, I'm gonna eat a lot of protein, and that's because today, I'm gonna eat all of these high-protein food supplements. So for the first meal of the day, we are gonna use two high-protein supplements. One of them being very familiar with most people, just a basic whey protein, and this one is actually my favorite flavor, banana split. Per serving in this whey protein, we've got 31.1 grams of protein, just 3.2 grams of fat, and 2.4 grams of carbs. And the other protein supplement for this meal Meal is this granola. So what is pretty crazy about this is the fiber intake. So per serving, don't know if you can see that, but 9.5 grams of fiber. And this is the meal. So what we've got is 100 grams of oats, one banana, 40 grams of whey, and 35 grams of granola. There's two main things I think about with high protein supplements. Well, number one being the taste which is pretty good. And the second thing I think about is just digestion. There's no point having loads of protein in your diet if it's not digesting well. In a minute, right, we're gonna eat a couple of cakes. We've got a chocolate mug cake to try and we've got some pancakes. But before that, we're gonna have this protein bar. So this protein bar, has 21 grams of protein and only 1.8 grams of sugar. So for me, this flavor is decent. The other flavor, the salted caramel, is my favorite. You know, as far as macros goes and the convenience of a protein bar, can't knock them, can you? So let's give this a taste. Do you want a bite? Mm -mm. No. I don't like them. I can't say that. <laughs> macros are good, tastes good, convenient. So for the mug cake, we're gonna need a mug cake mix. The recommended serving is 43 grams, so I'll probably have like 86. Along with the mug cake mix, we need, guess what, a mug, along with a splash of milk, and we're gonna use some apple sauce. I've only just noticed as well, what is going on with my eye? I look like I've had a fight with Tyson Fury, although I'd win, wouldn't I? Let's add a few scoops of the mug cake in the mug. Recommended serving already. Obviously I'm a tank, so we're going over. There we go, that'll do. Then let's splash some milk in. I don't know, about that much. Next up, the apple sauce. About five, 10 grams or so, that'll do, seven grams. Then all we're doing is mixing this up, which is pretty hard with one hand. So we'll do this, and then we'll bang it in the microwave for just 60 seconds. Bosh, 60 seconds, jobs are good. Look at that little bee smell. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. The lighting's a bit better, but that mug, is literally filled with cake. I'm gonna taste it in a second, but in terms of macros for the recommended serving, 5.7 protein, carbs, 30 grams, only four grams of sugars, and 3.5 grams of fat. So for 149 calories, as a little sweet treat, it's not bad at all. Let's give this a taste anyway. Decent, as you know. It's like I've tasted it before. So I'd say, if you like chocolate and you like cake, Chances are you might like this. Oh, this is chocolate biscuit, actually. I thought this was chocolate, it's chocolate biscuit. I mean, yeah, if you like chocolate biscuit, you'll probably like that. On the packaging of this, it says, if you subscribe, you can save 40%. Or what you can do is use my code, if you want to, you don't have to, but it's PWBrad, if uh, you want to save a bit of dough. Would this be a good thumbnail? Probably not, would it? Let's not do that. Let's do it then. Let's make these pancakes. So per serving, only 205 calories. As for the protein, we've got, give us a second, 13.7 grams of protein, which isn't bad for a cake, is it? And what we're gonna need to mix the mix with is 100 ml of semi-skimmed milk. The other thing we need is just something to mix it with. So we're gonna use my gold shaker. It doesn't have to be gold. Any shaker you like, you can even put it in a blender if you want, but I think that's a bit excessive. That'll do the job. Also, of course, we need a pan, and we're gonna use a little bit of one calorie fry light spray. So I think it's about four scoops again. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that, bang on 50 grams. Well, now you can look at it, 50 grams. Quite impressed with that, four scoops, bang on 50. Anyway, let's zero that off. 100 mil of this in there, 95. 104, that's it, game over, ruined it. Video's over. Now, all we're gonna do, shake this up. Normally as well, when I'm doing this, I'd make a few smaller pancakes, but what I'm gonna do is just make one big one. So if this goes wrong, I've used all my mixture up, 
and this could get a bit awkward. Oh, I ain't sure, you know. I am feeling the pressure on this one. Oh no, mate. I think I've almost saved it. You're gonna have to forgive me if it looks awful. This might not look like your regular circular pancake, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's just a cake. You know when someone makes a mess of something, they say it's gone pear shaped. I mean, if you look at the shape of that, that terminology is pretty applicable to the actual shape of the pancake as well. But poor jokes aside, I feel like that has cooked pretty good. Presentation could probably be a lot better. I've not had pancakes in ages, and you know what? There was a point, like, pretty much this time last year, coming out of my diet, where I was literally so hungry, I'd have pancakes every day. If you look back at my old videos, my pancakes were literally stacked, like, I think there was like 10 or 12 pancakes per plate, and it'd be like a 1,000 calories or something, or just over a 1,000 calories but like the volume of the meal was crazy. But anyway, let's uh, taste this anyway. I'm just rambling on about stuff you don't care about. It's nice, you know, it's pretty sweet. I just tasted a bit without any of the caramel on or the banana. So this is only 300 calories, this meal. So about two cakes today so far, and for both, less than 500 calories. I think it's just great how convenient it is. Like, you don't have to get your blender out, use loads of ingredients, make a mess, literally bang it in a shaker, mix it up in the pan, job's a good one, and literally, it would have taken me about two minutes because I was filming, it took me about four. Before we try the pizza mix, which I've never done before, so hopefully I don't mess that up, what we're gonna try is the juicy whey, which is basically like a whey protein in the form of more of a squash than a milkshake, if you know what I mean. So we've got two flavors. We've got a apple and raspberry twist flavor. That's not focusing, is it? And we've also got a orange and mango crush flavour. And I don't know which flavour I'm going to go for. And what do you reckon? I've got one that's open. Yeah. Which one's that? Oh, you had one, didn't you? Which one was it that was nice? Have you not done that one because the lid's still on? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> we'll go with the apple and raspberry because I've not tried that yet. It's open and Em's tried it. What did you think to it? It's all right, actually. I don't mind it. So let's shake this up. This one, the apple and raspberry flavour. I'll give you a taste. It tastes a bit like sherbet, like a drumstick almost. Mm. Do you know what I mean? What are you marking it on a scale of zero to unreal? <laughs> You're taking the mick out of me. Taste wise, I think like, I don't know, you know if I was to have protein all the time in mm. terms of a supplement, I'd rather have the whey protein, the normal one consistently, but just have this when I feel like it. I don't know, you know because it's quite sweet, I don't like really sweet foods all the time. Mm. I mean, if you like sweet foods, you'll love this, so. You know what we'll do, Em? Save a bit of time, be really efficient. We're gonna start making the pizza mix as I sip that. Sam, yeah, go on then. The first step for this pizza mix is preheating the oven to 200 degrees, and then we're gonna put 80 grams of the mixture in this mixing bowl. Perfect. What's the next step, Em? Three scoops of water. One, two, three, incredible. The next step, apparently we're meant to put in a little bit of oil in the bowl, but I don't have oil, do I? I've only got fry light in the house, so we're just gonna try and wing it without. But M is gonna do the honors and get her hands dirty. I love that technique. Fingertips, start with the fingers, end with a fist. I've not actually used my oven in ages, have I? Because I've got one air fryer here, another air fryer there. I've never made this piece from the oven. There's no way I'm just gonna try it in the air fryer. Let's go via instructions. Well, kinda, we've already missed out the oil. No, it's not my fault. No, it's not your fault, but let's try and avoid a disaster. A little bit of flour, put that on your side. Let's get the dough, whack that on there. Once the flour's on, you just gotta spread it to apparently 25 centimeters. Is that the distance around the whole circle? Is that like so, yeah. the radius or something? I don't, this is, <laughs> I'm out of my depth here. Basically, you've gotta spread it right. So it's quite, oh yeah. We're just gonna spread it. Time to plop this base of pizza in the oven. Four minutes each side. Once we've got the dough out the oven, what we're gonna do is add the toppings. So what we're gonna use, a bit of tomato puree. <laughs> Wrong bit, Em. <laughs> we'll spread that on there. Then we're gonna sprinkle some cheese on, and then we're gonna place some pepperoni on the pizza. Sprinkle a little bit more cheese on. And then the last step, we're just gonna place that back in the oven for another five minutes, and that'll be job done. Five minutes later, this is the end result. So we've got a dollop of ketchup there. As always, presentation, uh, not too bad, but the main thing, let's just see how it tastes. So I've just filmed the whole clip and then realized my mic was over there, so I'm gonna have to do it again. 
I have just tasted this pizza. I've had a third of it already. In terms of taste, very good. Macros are pretty good as well. Like in just the pizza mix itself, there's 14 grams of protein. And obviously we've got the cheese and the pepperoni in this pizza. It's probably about 20 grams of protein, maybe a bit more, and around like 450 calories. So it's not too bad. Only downside I'd say to this is that from when you start preparing it, you're not gonna be eating for another 20 minutes time. That's the only downside. But other than that, it's really good. Like I'd have this in my top three. I have all the protein supplements I've had today. This is in the top three. Whey protein is as well. And if I had to go one more, I'd go probably the granola, just because I can add it into my oats and it's easy calories. They're my top three, but I'm going. Hope you like the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.